Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mr. Dallas, and in today's lesson I'm going to discuss uh, slope of parallel and perpendicular lines. Notice it says part one. Part two is going to go over more complex problems dealing with parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, but first of all, what are parallel lines? Parallel lines are two lines that have the same slope, which means that they're never going to touch. Versus perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect at a 90 degree angle. And so this is a 90 degree angle marker indicating that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. So I just mentioned parallel lines have the same slope. We'll talk about that here in a moment. Uh, but lines that are perpendicular have slopes that are negative reciprocals. And so you might be familiar with the word reciprocal, but you might not be familiar with uh, the phrase negative reciprocals. And so again, parallel lines have the same slope, whereas lines that are perpendicular have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Well, again, you, what are negative reciprocals? Well, that's why I have this next slide here. Um, so it says, how do you find the negative reciprocal? Well, first of all, I've got an example problem that we're going to use these steps with. And so let's start with A here. Find the negative reciprocals of the given numbers. Well, imagine you were given a, a slope of 2 over 5. Well, perpendicular line to the slope of 2 over 5 is going to be the negative reciprocal of this fraction. Well, how do you find a negative reciprocal? Well, you find the reciprocal of the fraction. Reciprocal is you just end up flipping the fraction. So I'm given 2 or 5. Well, to flip the fraction, I'm going to put this 5 on top and the 2 on the bottom now. So the 2 is now on the bottom, 5 is now on top. That is the reciprocal of the fraction 2 over 5. Now, we need to switch the sign of the fraction to complete the negative reciprocal here. So we have a positive slope here. So now I'm going to have a negative uh, number here. And so the negative reciprocal of 2 fifths is going to be a negative 5 over 2. And so you'll see when we get to the next few problems, I'm going to use this information for slope. Uh, what about a negative 7 over 6? Well, let me switch the, the color here. So find the negative reciprocal of a negative 7 over 6. Well, I'm going to use uh, this little abbreviated steps here. Step one is just to flip the fraction. Well, it's 7 over 6 becomes 6 over 7. Oops, I wanted to change colors there. Sorry about that. So that becomes 6 over 7. And then I'm going to switch the sign. Well, I have a negative fraction here. So this is going to become a positive fraction here. So the negative reciprocal of a negative 7 over 6 is a positive 6 over 7. So voila. So hopefully it's not too challenging. But let's raise the bar and make it a little bit more challenging. What if you're just given a whole number as a slope? Well, how do you find the negative reciprocal of, of 3? Well, I've got to make 3 a fraction. How do you make 3 a fraction? Well, I put a 1 underneath it, and 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3, so I haven't really changed anything. And to find the negative reciprocal of 3 over 1, I flip the fraction, which is now going to be 1 over 3, and I switch the sign. Well, we have a positive 3 here. We're going to have a negative 1 over 3 here. And so negative 1 over 3 is the negative reciprocal uh, of 3. And then the last one we have here, let's go back to green, is if you're given a slope of 1 over 4, how do you find the negative reciprocal of 1 over 4? Well, flip fraction. So I'm going to put the 4 on top, 1 on the bottom here, and switch the sign. So we have a positive slope to a negative slope. And this is my answer right here. But I can simplify this. You always want to simplify fractions. A negative 4 over 1 becomes just negative 4. And so this is the negative reciprocal of 1 over 4, is negative 4. So let me talk a little bit more about C and D here. If you're given a whole number as a, as a the, the initial number, and you want to find the negative reciprocal, you're always going to end up with a fraction. So I started with a whole number, you're going to end up with a fraction whenever you're doing negative reciprocal. And if you ever start with a fraction that has a 1 on top, and you do the negative reciprocal, you'll always end up with a whole number. Uh, and so anyways, um, so right here, I kind of mentioned this a couple times. Um, whenever I talk with my students about this, I always tell them to flip fraction and switch sign are the steps for negative reciprocal. So we have FF and SS. Flip fraction, switch sign, and if you can remember just these four words in this order, or it actually could be backwards, it doesn't matter, then you should be fine on these kind of problems. So let's do a, a little bit more into this. Let's actually talk about slope now. So what really matters when talking about parallel and perpendicular lines, you only care about the slope. So look at the following examples to understand. So I'm giving you a uh, set of uh, lines here in slope-intercept form. Remember, we have y equals mx plus b. 
And I said you only care about the slope, so I am only looking at the numbers next to the x. So it says these lines are parallel because they have the same slope. Well, I have a 2 here for slope. I have a 2 here for slope. And since these slopes are identical, then I know these lines are parallel, again, because they have the same slope. This plus 5 and negative 7, where this is the b here, that's the y-intercept. It doesn't matter where it's crossing the y-axis. It just matters that they're never going to touch. And two lines with the same slope are never going to touch. We'll talk about more about this on the next slide. Uh, let's move on to perpendicular lines. So we have, uh, these lines are perpendicular because their slopes are negative reciprocals. Well, I start off with y equals 4 over 3x minus 6. And the slope here is 4 over 3 because it's right next to the x. Well, what's the negative reciprocal of 4 over 3? Well, if I flip the fraction, so I'm now making it 3 over 4, and I switch the sign positive to negative, this is going to be the negative reciprocal of 4 over 3. Well, if I look down at this example here, y equals a negative 3 over 4x plus 9, this slope right here of a negative 3 over 4 is identical to this slope right here. And so since these are identical, and uh, we have a negative 3 over 4 here. Since these slopes are negative reciprocals, then this line is perpendicular. So again, I only care about the slope. The y-intercept here doesn't matter at all. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. So remember, parallel lines have the same slope. And perpendicular lines, their slopes are negative reciprocals. Let's do one more example, and we'll call it quits on this. Plot the following lines on the coordinate grid. Well, I start off with a given equation. Again, this is in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And so I'm giving you y equals 4 over 7x plus 1. Well, this 4 over 7 is the slope, and this plus 1 is the y-intercept. Well, I've already plotted this on this line. here. If I were to start at 1, and then I were to plot the slope up 4 over 7, you're going to see that I'm going to recreate this line here. So let's go up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I'm smack dab right back on this line. Let's go the other direction. Down 4, back 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you're going to see that if I were to draw a line between these three dots here, I'd get this black line right here. So I just wanted to prove to you that this equation has already been plotted for you. Now let's look at uh, this one right here. y equals 4 over 7x minus 2. And I'm going to plot this starting with this negative 2. Let me change colors to blue. So I'm going to go down 2 from the origin a dot there. Let's go up 4 over 7, up 4 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's go the other direction, down 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now let's connect the dots here. So from here, I have a big, a big chunky dot, sorry about that one, to this guy here. And these two lines look parallel, and I'll prove it to you. I'll drag this blue line over to this black one, and you're going to see it's identical to it. So those two lines are parallel. They will never touch because, again, they have the exact same slope. 4 over 7 here, 4 over 7 here, same slope. means they're parallel to each other. They're never going to touch. Let's do this perpendicular lines one. Perpendicular lines, you have a negative reciprocal. So let's do this 4 over 7 here. I have a slope of 4 over 7. What's the negative reciprocal of 4 over 7? Well, I flip the fraction, 7 over 4, and I switch the sign, positive to negative. And you're going to notice that these two slopes here are identical. So the negative reciprocal of 4 over 7 is negative 7 over 4. And let's see if I plot this line here, if it ends up being perpendicular to both of these guys, this black line and this blue line. Start at plus 4. So we have 1, one 2, 3, 4. And so I'm going to put a little dot there. Now let's do the negative 7 over 4. So down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over 1, 2, 3, 4. And I can't go back this other direction here because I don't have a big enough graph, so let's just continue going in this direction. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, over 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's connect these dots using the red one. And I drew a square. And we know squares have 90 degree angles in the corners. And if I were to take this little square here and move it to this black line and the red line, you're going to see that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. Again, perpendicular lines need to cross at 90 degrees. Let's do the same thing for this blue guy down here. Oh, what do you know? So this red line and this blue line are perpendicular to each other. 
So I just proved to you, if you take a, a, a slope and you find the negative reciprocal of that, and then you plot it on a grid, that you will get lines that are parallel and perpendicular to each other. Anyways, I hope this helps you understand the concept behind parallel and perpendicular lines when we're talking about slope, and I hope you have a very good day.